Here's what Blake Shelton said in place of congratulating Niall Horan on his victory on The Voice. After Niall Horan's team won this season of The Voice, Blake Shelton may have been a little bit of a bitter loser, but to be fair, it was the country singer's final stint in front of the red button before retiring, so one last victory would have been nice. Horan claims that after The Voice rookie's victory with participant Gina Miles, Shelton reportedly departed the former One Direction star without saying a single word of congrats. When we left the seat, they announced the winner and I stood up, and then he came for a big hug. Horan recalled of the celebrations after winning to people. I gave him a great hug and he remarked, I taught you everything you know. He did not offer any congratulations or anything other than that. From the start of their first and final season together, Shelton and Horan have developed a joking friendship, which the slow hand singer admits he'll miss going forward. I'm going to miss him, he admitted to the magazine. In my opinion, he is not one of those renowned pals. I believe that even if we hadn't met through the voice, Horan and I would have been friends. Strangely enough, we have a lot in common and are really similar as persons. But not in a fashion sense. Shelton retired after season 23, but his wife will take his place on the voice in the future. Gwen Stefani is scheduled to coach alongside Horan. John Legend, and Reba McIntyre for season 24 of the show after having a break from it this past season. When asked about returning for the following season, Horan remarked, I'm going to miss, but I get to work with the other half of that marriage. I met Gwen at the voice after party this season. I'm thrilled since she surprised Blake on the last night and was hilarious and cool.